All right, so before I start programming what happens when the uh, enemy projectiles start firing, I wanna work on how I can check and see what the one, the behavior is of when a uh, bad dude gets hit by a projectile from the user, and then how do we change levels? How do we get to the progression of the game being over? Um, I'm gonna start in levels right here. I'm gonna edit this, and then I'm also gonna go to variables, and I am gonna start a, uh, I'm going to start a variable called enemy counter enemy lives is what we'll call it and I'll click okay and then inside the levels the levels custom block I am going to put a counter that represents the number of enemies in each level so here I put uh, enemy lives is equal to level number plus two um, now of course I use level number plus two down here I'm going to replace that instead with enemy lives. So I'm going to not get rid of that, get rid of this, get rid of this, and then do this instead. So now I'm pretty much creating that variable up here, level number plus two is the number of enemies that I wanna spawn in, and then I just change my repeat blocks that create the clones to reference that enemy lives variable. I'm also though gonna use that enemy lives variable in just a second. So I'm going to say control when um, I, I want to check and see when this sprite right here, bad dude, gets hit by the projectile. So luckily we have sensing. Um, I have the touching block right here. So I'm going to change touching to touching uh, enemy, sorry, player, wherever it is, projectile, right? When I hit, get hit, um, the first thing I'm going to do is hide. So I'm going to completely not show the clone anymore. Um, I'm going to change my enemy counter by one. So we're going to pull this down. I'm going to need the minus block right here. Go to variables and say enemy lives is now equal to enemy lives minus one. Right, that's pretty simple. Um, but I also want another block and I'm going to create a control block that is check level over. So I'm actually going to delete this one. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to recreate it check level over so i'm going to go ahead and create it and then i'm going to give it one variable which is the uh, level number so we're going to be checking that we're going to be passing that into it each time I'm going to click ok real quick and put that where i want it so that will come right after enemy lives and uh, i am going to put the variable of level number in there so in here I am going to basically check and see if my conditions are met. So, um, and then I'm going to advance to the next live. So I'm going to go ahead and edit. Um, I want to say one, first off, I don't want to do anything if we're not out of lives, right? So if the enemy still has a couple of sprites left, I don't want to do anything. So I'm only going to operate if the enemy lives counter is equal to zero. So I'm putting that in right there. So that's the only way this is gonna fire. And then basically I wanna say, um, the way that I am gonna build this, I'm gonna say, depending on what level I'm on, go to the next level, right? So if um, variables, or actually go to operator, is equal to something, if uh, my level number is equal to one currently, I'm basically gonna make my level number two. So I'm gonna to go to uh, set uh, level number, or nope, I don't need that in there. Set level number equal to two, nope, two. Um, I want to give it a little bit of a, <clears throat> I wanna give it a little bit of a, a wait time, that way it doesn't just immediately spawn more, more folks in. Um, I am gonna put a broadcast in here that I will use in just a second. But first, I want to call my levels block, and I'm going to put in the level number thing. Now, it'll basically check. It'll say if level number one, we want to advance to two. And then inside of levels, I've passed in two. <clears throat> and it'll start running our code inside of our levels block right there. So um, I'm going to duplicate this real quick, right? Uh, if actually not that whole thing, just this thing right here, I'm going to get rid of this. 
if level number equals two, we want to switch to level number three. Um, and then I'm going to say here, level to start. And here I'm going to say new level three start. And I'm going to check one more time and I'm going to see if, if level number equals three, I'm basically going to end the game. So I'm going to just do one single broadcast for now. I'm going to call it, um, game win will be the name. So go ahead and get rid of these, get rid of these, click okay. So that saves. And um, real quick, before I continue, I want to make sure I delete this clone, right? So now we've done all that. We've, we've hidden. We've said, you know, the enemy lives is equal to enemy lives minus one. Nope, minus one. And then we check and see if the level's over. So I should be able to run this now and get what I want. You can see enemy lives there. We'll, in just a second, we'll change to three. And once they spawn, right, if I hit one, that lives decreases. And now it's going to start on level two. And we should see that in just a second, two, three, four sprites as expected. So that is how we advance from level to level um, using cloning and uh, checking our enemy lives and restarting a new level once that's completed.